Hey everybody, I'm Stefan Johansson, I'm a former Formula One driver. I'm here today at CXC Simulations. Uh, we're gonna test their Motion Pro 2 simulator. And uh, for the first time, we're gonna try the new Formula One Halo system. And we're gonna do it in VR technology. So come along for the ride and uh, let's see what happens. So first impression, just sitting in the pit lane, it's, uh, it doesn't feel entirely this similar to an LMP1 prototype, in fact. It's, you, it's just that you can see through the roof, obviously, because there is no roof, but uh, the sight line is it's pretty similar, I would say. Um, so let's see what happens when we get on the track here. So leaving the pit lane, uh, it does feel a bit enclosed, but it's kind of the same feeling as you get when you drive a, an LMP1 prototype. The sight line is very, very similar. It's just that you don't have anything over your head, obviously, but the view in front where the, the line of the, the halo is compared to where the screen would be on a, on a P1 car is actually very, very similar, I would say. And as small as the cockpit is on a prototype, it doesn't feel all that different on this car, in fact. The post in the middle doesn't seem to be bothersome because you kind of always look at a little bit of an angle anyway. Um, you know, when you when you aim for the apex or whatever, it's very very rare that you look absolutely in a straight line. So the pose doesn't really sort of get in your sight line too much because like now I'm looking 45 degree angle before I turn into the corner here. So so the the, the big post in the middle is really never where you're looking or aiming for when you when you're sort of enter into a corner. It's a little bit, sometimes you see the pose like far away. If you look at the apex from a far distance, you, it kind of be in your sight line, but it doesn't really matter at that point because once you get closer to the corner, the car, you know, car is pointing straight, but you're already looking into the corner. So like now I'm looking about 40, 35, 40 degrees to the right before I turn into the corner. Same thing here to the left now. So frankly, it, it, it's not really, something you even think about you know it, it feels completely normal to me to you know from the from the view point of view for sure my only concern would be maybe we will try this later on uh, what kind of view you have on the when you're on the grid before the start depending on what grid position you're in when you sit on the grid you literally the, the halo is right in the line of sight for the for the light beam on the track. So you can see it, but you got to lift your head up, otherwise you can't see anything. So overall impression, when you drive, I would say there's absolutely no issue. Uh, you don't really even think about it. I mean, it, it's it's the line of sight is completely clear. Uh, you know, you're never really pointing your head in a straight line anyway to, you know, look through that beam that's coming down the middle because you're always turning your head one way or the other depending on, you know, where the track is moving pretty much. So uh, let's see what happens in Albert Park in a few weeks from now.